Yo guys, what is up, it is Nick. Today we have new legends, like always. We've got Rick, Ricky Williams and Mike Singletary in packs. Uh, obviously they have their 48-hour versions, as well as their base legends. So let's go take a look at the sets first, and then we'll get into the 48-hour cards. Okay, so starting with Mike Singletary, just like always, we've got the gold legend card, and then we have the 10 collectibles you need. The collectibles are currently going for... 16.5. I'll go 16.5. Well, actually, there aren't that many up, so really, if these four get bought out, they'd be going for 20k. So I would say anywhere between like 15 and 20k is what they are going for. His gold legend card, obviously, going to be going for the most. Actually, no, it's not. It's actually not a bad price on it. 23k. They do have a bundle. Uh, the legend, the 10 pack legend bundle, gives you a guaranteed gold legend. So I believe that's probably driven the price down on these gold legends and so you can probably you can get this done for around 200,000 coins for the Mike Singletary not a horrible uh, price he's also a 92 overall next we have the 91 overall with Ricky Williams and like always 10 collectibles currently going for 26k a piece so Ricky Williams collectibles are going to cost you 260,000 and then his legend card is going to cost you 30k. So you're looking at almost 300k for this Ricky Williams. Not sure if it's worth it. Now I'm interested to see what these two's legends are going for. Their 48-hour legends. Let's get over to the auction house. And the legends. Hold on, let me do elite players. Kind of hard to sort the legends. You really have to put in a lot of specific search uh, parameters or filters, I guess, to find what you want. Okay, so let's go ahead and go with, we'll just go with Ricky Williams first. All right, so Ricky Williams is currently going for 300K. So about the price you pay for him, so not half bad. His 48-hour legend card is going for 600,000 coins, and it comes with the boot, the extra chemistry of battle ready, not the extra chemistry that I would have liked, but Ricky Williams, 90 speed, 87 agility, 89 acceleration, 87 carry, 89 ball carrier vision, 90 elusiveness, 92 trucking, and 88 juke move. He comes with the bruising back chemistry, which adds one trucking, one stiff arm, and one impact block. And let's see, any hidden stats in here? Pretty decent catching at 73. All right, pass block at 61. Decent jumping at 85. He's got good stiff arm, spin move, and juke move. They're all good. Injury and stamina are pretty good. Spec catch, catching traffic, route running, those are all pretty good for a halfback. Release is decent for a halfback. I think that's all the important stats on the Ricky Williams. I don't personally think any running back in this game is worth 300000 since David Johnson pretty much does what they can do, since he has 90 speed and he has decent trucking and decent ex and uh, decent elusiveness. I don't really think you ever had to worry about that, so that's the issue with running backs right now. There's just not a whole lot of difference that you can tell between like the top echelon and kind of the middle tier. Moving on, Mike Singletary going for 240 k His... 48-hour legend going for 355k, so going cheaper. And his base one has the tackle machine chemistry, which adds one to strength, tackle, and block shed. And when you get his 48-hour, it comes with cover linebacker that adds plus one to play recognition, plus one to man, plus one to zone, and um, can be paired up pretty easily. There are a lot of there are a lot of good cover linebacker. Uh, chemistry linebackers for you to get so that's actually pretty good chemistry that you can easily pair up and let's see let's look at his stats so he's got 84 speed 92 awareness 93 tackle 92 play recognition 89 block shed 91 pursuit 78 zone all right i can i can roll with 78 zone not bad 93 uh hit power let's see if he's got any good hidden stats here decent agility and acceleration pretty good awareness Eh, all right, catching. 
Uh, decent jumping at an 85, same as Ricky Williams. He can actually semi-stiff arm you if he intercepts or covers a fumble. Okay, he's got good rushing the passer stats. 89 block shed, 82 power move, and 76 finesse. 91 pursuit is really nice. Man and zone are, are pretty average for linebackers, but I found out in this game with linebackers, those are good enough to get it done. Good injury and stamina. That doesn't matter. Hit power, nice. But guys, that is going to do it for the new legends. Let me know if you guys pulled any of them or if you bought any of them or picked one up or anything like that. And I hope you guys enjoyed. I'll probably have another video out later today. Uh, at least I want to have two more. I've got homework I need to take care of as well. I'm trying to watch college football and all that different stuff. But I would like to get a video out talking about the new football outsiders as well as showing more, showing you guys some of the Friday night uh, cards, the Friday night draft cards. Uh, because more of them have been posted on the auction blog, but we'll see about that, and I'll, hopefully I can get those up for you guys tonight. If not, I'll get what I don't get up tonight up tomorrow morning, so I will catch you guys then. Peace out.